good afternoon and welcome uh, to our final uh, market update of the week. And it's uh, time for Walk on Wall Street. As the US session opens uh, on the East Coast, uh, it's been a risk off kind of day. Uh, we've seen um, the, uh, the FTSE trade weaker uh, here, trading below the 6,000 level. Has come back though a touch um, on the day, uh, well off its lows now, um, and is trading at down point uh 0.5 percent dax is higher though um and uh uh us uh sorry and the cac is also higher in, in paris uh bourses across europe actually not doing too badly uh despite the risk off kind of tone to the day um so FTSE weaker at uh, you uh, s p futures e minis are down uh there sorry no e Sorry, excuse me. E minis are just marginally higher now. Um, the uh, USA 500 here uh, opening around 29.47, so opening flat essentially, uh, maybe just a touch weaker. So it's got a risk off flavor, but it's still um, equities are holding up not too badly. Um, as you can see here, the, the yen is the strongest and the Aussie dollar the weakest. Um, today in FX, and so that's um, that's very much just kind of risk off kind of move. Uh, I think really where we're seeing a lot of the risk off moves is really in commodities. Copper down, oil down sharply there. Uh, you see the move on copper. That's a daily chart. It's a big big swing lower there. Um, obviously, we've been in this nice uptrend uh, that that uh, we've been following. It's just testing the lower end of that channel. Uh, oil likewise in a very strong uptrend. This is an hourly chart. The copper is on the daily chart, uh, hourly chart there for crude oil futures. Uh, a very nice um, move lower off that double bottom formation and then up to 35. Come off at 35. Uh, the risk off sort of tone from China with them saying that they uh, won't be, they won't have a GDP target this year. That sort of suggests that maybe we're not going to really pump up the infrastructure spending. And so that has had a knock on to copper and oil, basic resources stocks in the, on the FTSE as well. Um, also, of course, Hong Kong, the situation there, as we discussed this morning, that uh, knocked Hong Kong shares down uh, to uh, uh, the, the worst day in five years, back down to these sort of late March lows now for the for the Hang Seng. Um, oil futures just coming back up, actually, just a touch. We have risk risk appetite has improved uh, since this morning. As I say, E minis are just about higher, uh, and the uh, the S and P five hundred is sort of flattish on on yesterday. Uh, just the FTSE, real, the real laggard now, still in the red, um, struggling to get uh, to mount any kind of uh, sort of ascent on that 6,000 level. Um, so it's a, it's a funny old day, actually. Um, we'll see if we can get any kind of read on this as we go into the final sort of few hours. Remember, it's a holiday in the UK and in the US on Monday, so um, we could see maybe just a bit more risk being taken off the table uh, in the US and the UK versus European markets, uh, given, that, uh, given that we know that on Monday, European markets will be moving, um, Asian markets will be moving, uh, and the US and UK might just, uh, 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 investors they might just want to just take a little bit of risk off the table just in case things flare up in Asia um, over the weekend, you know, in, in Hong Kong specifically. Um, not much on the data front uh, to worry about as we head in, into the weekend. Uh, remember, next week, all the usual uh, on X-Ray. Uh, platform walkthrough on Wednesday. Uh, live coverage of the PCE numbers um, um, for that one on a webinar. So lots happening. And uh, the week ahead will be out on uh, uh, later, I think later uh, today or, uh, or by Sunday at the latest. So catch that one if you can. Uh, so that's it for the moment. Um, Risk off tone, but equities are uh, just holding up not too badly as we head into the weekend. That's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.